Hey guys, it's Shannon. I have a really cool Dollar Tree project for you today. So let me show you the supplies and then we'll get right into the project. Here's a look at the main supplies that you're gonna need for this Dollar Tree inspired project. And the first thing is a rolling pin and it's just made out of wood. So we're gonna cut this down and stain that. You also need a round serving tray. And then I have two different sizes of metal bowls here. So here you can see that they're just a little bit, one is a little bit smaller than the other one. And these four things are from the Dollar Tree. And then I'm also gonna be using some white chalk paint. This is Waverly brand from Walmart. You all know that is my favorite. And then to attach it all, I have this Loctite brand epoxy, two part epoxy that we're gonna be mixing to put it all together. And then the only other thing I'll be using is my miter saw to cut this down. If you don't have a miter saw, you can use a hand saw with a miter box. And then I'll also be using some wood stain to give this a different look. So let's get started building this tiered tray. All right, so the first thing I wanna do is paint the tray and the two bowls with the white chalk paint but I wanna leave a little circle on the areas where the tiered separators are gonna go. And the reason I wanna do that is so when I put the epoxy on here, the wood will adhere to the metal and it won't have to adhere to the paint, which may not stick as well to this metal. So I'm just kind of doing some prep work here to make sure when I go to put this all together, the epoxy um, adheres as good as it can. So I'm just gonna draw, put, I'm gonna put the uh, rolling pin onto the tray in the center where I want it to go. And then I won't paint in that circle area. I'll just paint all the way around it. I'm also gonna do the same thing with the bowls. So this larger bowl is actually going to get a tear on the top and on the bottom. So I'm gonna add circles. And these are just guides, not necessarily you perfectly have to follow those lines, but it's just a guide as to where I don't wanna paint. So like I said, this air bowl gets a circle on the inside and on the bottom. And then the smaller bowl is going to get one just on the bottom. So now that I have my guides on the bowls and the tray, I can go ahead and paint the rest of the areas. Here's a look at the bowls and the tray after one coat of paint. I did give them three coats of paint just to make sure they were nice and covered. And while those dried, then I went on to work on the rolling pin for the tiered separators. Cut the rolling pin into two pieces. One was four and a half inches long and the other one was five and a half inches long. Next, I sanded them down to get any rough edges off and then stained them in a dark wood stain by Minwax called Dacker Bean. So here's what they look like after three coats of the chalk paint and I'm gonna flip them over and do the same thing to the back side. And here's a look at the bowls and the tray after I added three coats of the white chalk paint. And now I wanna give them sort of a faux enamel look, which is why I went with the metal bowls versus like plastic bowls, um, so I could get an enamel look. And I'm gonna be using this Waverly chalk paint in the color ink, which is basically just black chalk paint and some paint brushes to give them that faux enamel look.
so that was super easy i just ran a line of black paint around the rim of the bowls and the tray and then i sort of cut in a little bit of black to make it look chippy and didn't overdo it try not to do too much of the chippiness and i'm going to take my rolling pin that i cut down and i'm going to use my epoxy my epoxy here i'll show you how to do that and we're going to glue this all together to make the tiered tray all right so this epoxy is two part and all you have to do is squeeze them both onto the plate you want equal parts and then you take a popsicle stick or something that you don't mind throwing away i'm just using a, a toothpick here and you mix these together and there's a glue and there's a hardener when these mix together then it starts reacting so you don't have a whole lot of time to use this so once you have it mixed I am just going to take one of my rolling pin parts and sort of dip it in here and put the rolling pin in the middle of the tray first actually I'm gonna take this off I'm gonna put glue on both ends so that way it's ready to go for the next step Gonna put this on the tray where we left that little spot without any glue or without any paint on it and then we're gonna add the bowl which again we left a spot without paint on it for just this step right here and you just kind of want to hold these together so that they bond now once these are set up, we're gonna do the exact same thing with the next piece of rolling pin and attach the next bowl uh, to make the next tier. Oh my gosh, I am so in love with this. This may be one of my very favorite Dollar Tree projects. This was so easy to make. The hardest part was waiting for paint and glue to dry, but it only cost about $4 in Dollar Tree supplies, plus paint and glue if you don't have those on hand. Let me know down in the comments below if the enamel look is one that your home has. I don't really have a whole lot of enamel decor. I have my new fall sign that's in our entry, but other than that, this is a nice extra little added farmhouse touch to the kitchen. I hope that this tutorial inspired you. Make sure to give it a thumbs up for me. You can share this with your friends and family and inspire them too. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I do DIY tutorials every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I wanna thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.